I woke up on a Monday morning and I couldn't feel my toes. They were numb and I shrugged it off. The numb feeling progressed up my feet into my legs and it just kept progressing, ascending. On Tuesday evening, the day after, so day two of my symptoms, uh, we did make a trip to the ER. Um, I was given a little mental check by the doctor there and I was told I had anxiety and sent home with a sedative. The next day was Wednesday and I woke up feeling unwell and weak and I had slurred speech. So I thought I was having a stroke. My husband called an ambulance and again I was told it was most likely anxiety and I was happy to hear that. I didn't want to make another trip to the hospital. But by Wednesday evening I found I was having trouble breathing and I started to panic and my husband called an ambulance again and I was rushed to the hospital. And I spent some time in the ER, so some tests were done on me, and that's the last thing I remember. Then I woke up in ICU, where I was completely paralyzed on a ventilator. Initially, the doctors thought I had a brain tumor because they couldn't believe that GBS would be so intense. I was in shock, but I was also heavily sedated. I thought maybe I'd get better the next day and go home. I really didn't know what to think. So I was diagnosed with the variant of GBS called acute motor sensory axonal neuropathy. And I'm laying there hearing this. And in a way, I was glad, I was happy and relieved that this thing had a name. But I was kind of also scared that it, if this had a name, you know, how bad is it? So I spent, uh, in the medical hospital, I spent about five months. And then I was moved to a rehab hospital for two months. I left the rehab hospital uh, with a walker, uh, still in a lot of pain, uh, but still I was able to leave the hospital with a walker and come home. I was signed up for a outpatient rehab at a local hospital and uh, I worked with a neuro rehab with a physiotherapist and an occupational therapist and they spent several weeks working with me to help improve my balance and to give me more strength and they gave me exercises for home as well. Unfortunately, hospitals are underfunded, um, and we felt that. I did receive a physio care on a daily basis in uh, the ICU. And when I was moved out of ICU, when I was off the ventilator and moved onto a main floor, I received a few, a few minutes of physio per day. So unfortunately, we were forced to hire a physiotherapist to come into the hospital and work with me a little bit more. The hardest part of going through GBS was physically the pain. It's nonstop. There's no escaping it. There's no way to take a break from it. Even though in the hospital I was given um, a lot of medication to help ease the pain, uh, nonetheless the pain was always there and it was relentless and it was very discouraging to be in the hospital, to feel useless, to feel so dependent on others, to feel vulnerable. And that was hard for me. Because at home, I was the one that took care of everybody else. And now I'm in the hospital and everybody's taking care of me. Without the support team from the outside and without you know, my husband and my older son, uh, it would have been very difficult. I think we would have been forced to hire somebody to come in full time. Having GBS has definitely changed some of my relationships. It strengthens um, some of the relationships I had with friends, especially friends who have been diagnosed with diseases. They feel like they can identify with me now, and I can identify with them, even though they're going through a different type of illness, that we kind of have this uh, solidarity. When I was in the hospital, my husband uh, met a man who was diagnosed with CIDP, and he pointed him to a support group. And my husband went to the support group while I was still in the hospital, and he got a lot of support. And one lady did come to visit me a few times in the hospital who was recovering from GBS, and I was glad for her visits. And to this day, we're still good friends. One good thing that has come out of me having GBS is that I'm able to be a better support to others who are suffering, especially for those that have gone through the same disease that I've gone through. I'm also more compassionate to pain, and it's given me a greater understanding into the medical field 
and into this actual disease itself. My husband and I do visit patients in the hospital who have been diagnosed with GBS to let them know, you know, I've been through it, I'm walking again, um, and you're not alone. And I, I can't tell you what tomorrow's gonna bring, but each day you're gonna get better. And it's, it's very slow and it's gradual, but, but there is hope at the end. Be aware, we are rare, please share.